Hi there, welcome my dear students. In this lecture, I'm going to teach you how you can create this neomorphism, a quick CSS animation. Can you see these are the pills here? We have it's going up and down and color is changing. So in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how you can create this one. So what I'm going to do, uh, I need to get bootstrap.com. I will go here. So one second, let me close this YouTube analytics. And now, uh, from here what I have to do I have to copy the CDN link of the bootstrap from here and uh, here I have already done the 10 projects that are has been uploaded on the YouTube platform already and uh, now I'm gonna create another folder and this is going to be the 11th one and uh, I'm gonna name it like uh, I'm gonna say neomorphism and I will say effects and uh, I'm gonna open up this with the VS code and uh, let me open up the browser and uh, let me close the other one there you go so one second let me adjust this quickly so here uh, I'm gonna create a file with the name of index.html and uh, at the same level I'm gonna create a file with the name of app.css that I'm gonna use in our uh, HTML I'm gonna split up here and uh, here I need the markup and I will do shift 1 and hit enter there you go now I'm gonna type the name here and before typing the name I have copied the CSS I'm gonna uh, sorry the CDN of the bootstrap and here you go and now I'm gonna give the title for this project this is going to be Neomorphism Effects and after that I have to link my uh, style sheet that is app.css now what I have to do I need to run this on on live server so I'll make this bigger here I have the sign of the live server I this is the extension that I have did and it's gonna run that on the live server so this is here like just for this example but we have to work here and uh, let me adjust this for you guys so you can see both things that we are gonna do so here let's write the markup it's not uh, going to be too much it's going to be very little so here uh, I need a class with the name of uh, sorry I need a tag uh, and I'm gonna say that main and I need few classes that are going to be bootstrap classes that is going to be I'm gonna say display hyphen flex and uh, I need align items align items to the center and uh, after that I want content to the into the center so for that purpose I'm gonna use justify content uh, sorry justify content hyphen center and after that dart for the next class and I want this to be column I don't want this to be in row I want this to be column so there you go now inside the main oops so inside the main I need a div and I'm gonna say that that is going to be my content and uh, inside this content I need a margin bottom that is going to be mb5 and uh, after that I need to say that I want my text into the center so I will hit tab here and uh, inside here I'm gonna write my h1 and I'm gonna say now uh, this one neomorphism and I'm gonna paste that text here or if you want that a little bit more bigger you can type effects as well so there you go can you see it's in the center just because we are using uh, line item center and justify content center but right now uh, I'm using the align item center because I want this to be in center but it's not gonna come up into the center until I give I gave a height to this so here uh, I'm gonna say that HV 100 uh, it's HV or VH 100 uh, let me try okay it's going to be VH I believe there you go can you see it's in in, in the center I always forget like uh, it's VH or VH uh, and uh, now the next thing is I need one more text that is going to be P tag and uh, I'm gonna give a class name to this and this is going to be FS-5 and uh, after that I'm gonna write some 
text here I'm gonna say that quick CSS animation effects or effect let me save that there you go we have this text as well so if you want to make this bold what you can do you're gonna pass a class here you can do FW hyphen bold let me save that can you see this is a little bold now so it's up to you you want to make this bold or no here I have not done this bold uh, but here I have done this poll so it's up to you what you want to do and uh, now I will come up into the CSS part and uh, let me beautify this one after that I will start working on the uh, on these pills so I will come up here and in the CSS uh, first of all I'm gonna say that if there is margin I don't want any kind of margin if there is any padding I don't want any kind of padding so we don't have any extra paddings and uh, after that here I'm gonna target the main tag and uh, or you can target the body as well it's up to you like if, uh, if something is going outside of the uh, main tag then you can like uh, give the background color to the body if you want onto the whole page so I'm gonna say that background that I want that is going to be hash F A 8 B and F F let me save that so there you go we have a background now and uh, the next thing after that we have this content part and inside content we have our h1 so I'm gonna say dot content and inside that we have h1 so what does this mean this means like if inside h1 there are multiple h1 tags target all of those so if you want to just uh, adjacent siblings or the there are multiple uh, combinators so according to that you can use that combinator and you can target your class and now uh, I'm gonna say that font size I want to change that font size is going to be 4.5 frame and this is there you go can you see text is bigger now and uh, after that I want the I want to change the font weight that is going to be I'm gonna say that 900 I want to make this a little bit more bold can you see and let me make this a little small so you can see more okay next thing is I need a background uh, sorry and that is going to be a background I'm gonna say background image Oh, let me make this a little bit more there you go so background image so I'm gonna use a linear gradient here and uh, I'm gonna say to right start from 2 and that is going to be right and after that I need to give pass values so I'm gonna use three colors here so the first one is going to be 7 to 6 1 and FP and uh, after that I need to use one more color and that is going to be hash ff and uh, 5a 5a and uh, one last color hash ff that is going to be kind of yellow to d and uh, there you go I have three colors so there you go can you see we have three colors can you see this effect now what we have to do we need to like uh, clip this text and uh, the uh, background color so we have a property of clipping we need to clip our background so I'm gonna use webkit web hyphen uh, sorry that is going to be webkit hyphen background and we have this third one background clip and I'm gonna say that I want to clip text if I save that can you see that is gone but right now I can't see the effect of the uh, my linear gradient now it's gone but we uh, what we are gonna do we want our text to be transparent because right now the uh, the background is behind this text so what we want we want this text to be transparent so we can see that easily so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say that webkit hyphen text hyphen fill color and that we want that to be transparent so can you see we have this effect now so right now this is not readable because due to the background so if we I have to make this more good like readability if I have to increase that what I need I need the stroke on the behind so what I'm gonna do I will come up here and I will say a hyphen webkit and uh, sorry webkit webkit and stroke text stroke and uh, this is going to be I'm gonna say that 3px and uh, if I save that can you see we have stroke and now we want to change the color so I'm gonna say that RGBA 
and uh, that is going to be 183 and uh, after that I want this to be 41 and after that this is going to be 145 and after that the last value I'm gonna say that 0 0.74 let's show let me save that there you go can you see we have the background effect similar to this one and uh, a little bit this is doing issue so let me inspect and let me see so here is the background color and uh, okay uh, 183 we have 41 and 45 this needs to look good let me reduce that no it's not working It's showing neomorphism. Oh, this is not in the caps. That's why it's showing issue. So, uh, what we can do, uh, like we want this to fill up, so that's why I put that in the caps. So we can fix that here as well. But we have what we have to do. We need to increase the stroke, or we need to do the like some changes in the text. So what I'm gonna do here, uh, I want to change font style, and I'm gonna say that font style that is going to be sorry. Uh, text transform sorry text hyphen transform and that needs to be capitalized let me do that sorry that needs to be uppercase not capitalized let me do that there you go can you see this is looking perfectly fine similar to this one so we have our text part here and uh, the next thing is we have to work we need to fix this our uh, this one the p tag so here I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste that here and this is going to be p tag and here I'm go I just have to change the color for this and and I'm gonna use brown one so there you go we have this brown now so the next part that we have to work on that is going to be our pills so for that we need to come up here in the HTML and in the uh, in our markup so under this div what I have to do I need another div I'm gonna give a class name with the name of loader and after that what I have to do I need to do give display flex align item center and uh, justify content center and after that I need one more thing and I'm gonna say that flex siphon wrap like I don't want this to be go outside so we have flex wrap and after that I need uh, div but what I want in the div I need a style here so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna pass a variable hyphen I and I'm gonna pass a uh, value for the variable so this is going to be zero I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna copy this and uh, and I'm gonna paste that multiple times here so this is going to be one two three and four so we have one two three four five so we have one zero one two three four so one two three four and five so these are the numbers zero one two three four five so let me save that right now you can't see anything here uh, now we are done with the uh, with this part uh, with the uh, with markup part now what we have to do we need to start working with our uh, CSS part I will come up here so you have seen here we have give a class name with the name of loader can you see this one we have loader so let me do this so we have loader here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say that I have a class with the name of loader so now uh, what I have uh, I'm gonna say I have a div inside that what I want I want a position and uh, that is going to be relative and uh, after that what I need I'm gonna say that I need a width that is going to be 40 pixels and after that there is going to be a height that is going to be a 200 pixels and after that there is going to be a margin that is going to be top bottom left right that is going to be 20 pixels and uh, what I want I want I don't want uh, like any kind of overflow that is going to be hidden and uh, so I need a border radius 
and I'm gonna say that border radius I need that to be 40 pixels so right now still you can't see that but once we have once we start working a little bit more with the border so you can see that so I need a border and uh, that is going to be two pixels and after that I'm gonna say that this is going to be solid and I need to give the color for the border that is going to be FF and uh, I'm gonna say 6A and 88 let me save that there you go can you see one two three four five we have five parts now so we are targeting each div inside this we have can you see we have one div second third fourth and fifth so we are targeting all of the divs here now what we want to do we want a box shadow here so I'm gonna give a box shadow and there are some values for the box shadow that I'm gonna write that quickly here for you guys okay so there you go can you see we have for the box shadow now this one but we want to set this now we want this to be similar to that can you see we uh, we have the outside but we want to set the inset as well so what we have to do we need to set the inset now uh, like the inset border so we have to work on it so here I'm gonna pass the value of inset quickly there you go can you see we have one insert here but we have to do a little bit more similar to that can you see a little bit more so we need to pass one more insert so I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna pass another insert and uh, that is going to be instead of minus this is going to be plus plus 5ps 5px 5px and after that uh, instead of 2 to 5 this is going to be 0 0 black one and after that this is going to be 0, 5 there you go can you see we have this one here it's looking much better similar to this one so now the next thing is uh, what we want to do uh, we want to pass some colors as well uh, in the after so I'm gonna copy this from here and I'm gonna say that I have a div and in the after I want to do something sorry in the after and the before so let's talk about the before first and uh, here I'm gonna say that the content that is going to be the empty and uh, after that uh, I need a position that is going to be absolute and uh, after that I need from top to be zero and uh, from left I need this to be zero and after that width that I want to be 100% I need height here that is going to be 100% so we are gonna handle the uh, like a lightning part here so let me show you this one can you see there is a little brightness part here that we are gonna handle here and uh, you will see that in the animation so and I will show you in the inspect like what we are doing this one here and uh, after that that index that is going to be 0 and sorry that is going to be 10 and uh, after that I need a border radius for this one as well so above we have border radius of 40 and this is going to be same 40 pixels here so and uh, after that what I have to do I need to pass the box shadow so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy this from here and uh, I'm gonna paste that here let me check if I have to change any value and uh, instead of this one and uh, this is going to be white I'm gonna use the white one and uh, inset is going to be the same and the second inset is also going to be the same let me say that can you see uh, let me inspect and let me show you here we have a before so if I sorry this is a before if I disable that box shadow can you see the brightness we have it's looking more like this one can you see we have this pill stuff so it's looking good now we have the shine thing now the next part is we want this to animate uh, we want this uh, ball and we want to change we want to change our color as well so we are gonna work on now uh, we are gonna work in the after first of all so let me copy this from here and this is also gonna be the same 
let me copy this or let me copy the whole and I'm gonna change the values here so here uh, absolute and I just need to change the width and uh, this is going to be 36 px and uh, after that after that I don't need the Z index I'm gonna remove that and uh, border radius is going to be I'm gonna say that I need border radius to be 50 percent and uh, we have the box shadow and uh, uh, now this time I need to change the value and uh, let me remove this one from here and uh, let me take that here we have insert minus 5 and uh, this is going to be instead of 2 to 5 this is going to be I'm gonna say that this is going to be 0 black one and uh, I'm gonna say that the opacity needs to be 0 0.2 and uh, after that I need to change the next values and this is not going to be in inset and uh, this is going to be I'm gonna say this is going to be 0 and uh, after that 0 and 420 px and again the next one is going to be 0 and uh, now again 400 uh, 400 px and now I need to change the color here so one second let me do that and this is going to be hash 2196f3 and let me save that there you go can you see we have the color and we have that white thing here similar to this one so but we have we are missing one thing let me refresh and uh, if I hover here right now it's in the before uh, this needs to be in the after let me save it there you go so this is in the after now so here can you see this box shadow is coming N there is one more thing we need to do we need a background that is going to be white the rest is box shadow white can you see we have similar to this one so I will come up here and uh, before the border radius and I'm gonna say that I need the background that is going to be white let me save it okay now the next thing is uh, we need to start working with our animation so I'm gonna say that animation here and I want to give the animation name here and I'm gonna say that this is going to be animate 2.5 s and after that I'm gonna say that is in and out and the uh, sorry is in and out and after that like how many times this needs to be repeat so I'm gonna say that infinite loop time that is going to be it's gonna repeat multiple time the animation is will be in the loop it's not gonna end and uh, after that I need a transform and uh, I'm gonna say that translate that is going to be while like I need to move this up and down so here I'm gonna say that 160 pixels let me save it there you go right now it's uh, in the bottom so now when I'm gonna animate that from 160 I want this to be 100 percent so like in inside this box after that what I have to do I, I'm gonna say that like uh, what will be the animation delay so it's on the div so on every div like I don't want all of the divs to animate at once so can you see here we have some delay like if it's going up it's going down similar to that so we need some delay as well here so I'm gonna say that animation uh, animation and uh, animation and after that hyphen delay and uh, I want to calculate I'm gonna use a calculate function here and that is going to be 0 0.5 s and multiply by I'm gonna say war and after that hyphen hyphen I so where from this value is coming this value is coming from here so first of all first of all is going to be zero second is going to variable value is going to be one two three four and it's gonna multiply with the minus 0 0.5 s so we're done here but still it's not working what we have to do we need to create a uh, we need to create a keyframe here for the animation so I'm gonna say that add keyframe and identifier is going to be animate one so I'm gonna pass the identifier here and uh, now what I want to do I'm gonna say that's on 0% what I want to do from 0% I want to do transform because above we are using the transform so by default the transform is going to be translate Y that is going to be same and uh, after that what I want to do I want a filter here uh, sorry filter and uh, I'm gonna use a hoi rotation here 
and what does that mean like when it's going up I want to change color when it's going down I want to change color can you see similar to that I'm using here because right now every color is uh, this blue one so I'm gonna say that well uh, I want to rotate this at 180 degree so let me save that right now it's not doing anything so now I want this to be like it's on the zero percent and on 50 percent when it's going on 50 percent I want to change something so now uh, I want on transform I want this to be instead of like uh, 160 I want this to be zero and uh, after that I'm gonna copy the same and after that it's going to be 100 percent so here I'm gonna say 100 percent and from here uh, I need translate Y like on 50 percent this will go full uh, above and after that 100 percent is gonna come back down again and this is going to be 160 px and now uh, what I want to do I want filter where rotation and uh, that is going to be zero so let me do that this is going to be zero degree let me save now there you go can you see it's freaking perfectly fine so if I come up here and if I show you in the after so here can you see we have this box shadow if the box shadow is not here we can't see that and uh, after that we have this background white so can you see right now the ball color is similar to to your uh, pills and we have said that background is, needs to be white for this width and height like uh, it's coming because of this after that we have the animation part can you see animation is not working and after that we have the value right now on the one can you see it's zero on the div one and if I come up here and if I go into the after and the value is going to be one and so on if you hover on to this one if you go into the after and you see the value this is going to be in uh, it's gonna increase if I remove that can you see it's like moving all of moving are all of them are moving at the same time so that's why I did animation delay calculation 0 point minus 0 0.5 second and after that the variable value so you can do a math here you can use your calculator to calculate the values so that's it about this video and uh, if you have liked my video please do subscribe my channel and uh, stay updated with the latest video take care bye bye see you in the next lecture